Hello and welcome to the engine room of Misty Maiden. We are up on the hard here in Greenport for the winter. And uh, this is literally the warmest place in the boat right now because I've redirected all the ducts from the diesel heater into this engine room. So it is uh, as cramped as it is, it's the most comfortable place in the boat right now. So at the end of last season, we had a leak in the diesel tank. Morgan 41s of this vintage had about an 86 gallon tank. And uh, the problem is that the boat was sort of built around the tank. So if you have a leak in the tank, you need to make some decisions. Uh, one decision is that you cut the tank out and then have new tanks fabricated. And I say tanks because you would do two or three tanks and then daisy chain them together. What I decided to do was uh, give a rehab to this tank. And the way I did that is uh, I cut four holes with my hole saw and then joined the edges of the hole with my oscillating saw. And then once I got in there, it was an ever loving mess. Uh, the just nasty, dirty diesel, which I had to clean out, uh, which I've done. As you can see, not too bad. Found, uh, found some places where the leak probably is and uh, did a little research and found that there was an aircraft military grade diesel tank sealant that came in two viscosities. The thicker viscosity would be good for filling holes and filleting along joints in the tank, which I will do. And then there's a paint-on viscosity, which will go across the entire interior of the tank to, uh, to seal all the pinholes. I do have one problem left, though. Pretty big hole. Well, it turns out that what you can do is uh, get a plate. I have a plate of 3 16 inch aluminum and uh, nitrile gasket material. The uh, sealant that I'm using is actually nitrile based as well. Nitrile is a great material that is diesel resistant. So I bought a sheet of this from my local rubber supplier. Everybody should know where their local rubber supplier is. And uh, I will cut this gasket out once I get this plate in place. And the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to put the plate up in place. I've already marked where I want the uh, bolt holes to be. And I'm going to use a couple of self-tapping screws to hold it in place. And then I'm going to drill about every inch along the entire perimeter of the plate. And I'm gonna take the plate off. Then I'm gonna tap all of those holes in the tank itself. And I'm gonna use aluminum bolts. Because anybody who's been around aluminum and stainless steel knows they don't get along. So we're gonna use aluminum bolts. We're gonna use red Loctite to seal the bolts into the tapped holes in the tank so that when you look at the tank, you'll see all these studs around the hole. There'll be corresponding holes in the plate because I'm gonna drill the plate and the tank at the same time. And then we're gonna put the gasket and the plate and tighten that up after the tank's all sealed. So uh, I will certainly post another video on my progress, but that's the thinking right now. So we are either going to have a repaired diesel tank or I'm going to be cutting this thing out and building two new diesel tanks.